ממש מצלם. I'm here outside the uh, first station in Jerusalem and I just got coffee from Izzy Man's. Uh, this is for Jewish Israelis, people living in the West Jerusalem have only recently become acquainted with Izzy Man's because they opened this little stand in the first station. Uh, but for East Jerusalemites, Izzy Man's been a well-known brand for many years. Izzy Man in the world of, uh, in the world of Turkish coffee, and specifically Palestinian brands. It's one of the two big players. You've Izzy Man's and you've got Sanduka as well. Now I have to, firstly, I haven't drunk coffee for a while, so this is an exception. But what I may not have mentioned on this channel before is I'm, some, I'm something of a Turkish coffee aficionado. I have a number of Turkish coffee makers in my home. Turkish coffee machines exist, but really only from Turkish brands. There's a brand called Arzim. For, for those who don't know what Turkish coffee is, and what Israelis call Turkish coffee is actually not really accurate. Uh, Israelis call Turkish coffee coffee bots. What they do is take Turkish coffee and just pour water straight on it. Authentic Turkish coffee is uh, brewed in a finjan in Arabic or an ibrik uh, in Turkey. Or it's also called a sezva depending on where you uh, where you come from in the world. And that's basically it's a little uh, vessel that you'll hold on a stove and you'll boil it like that. It's popular in the Balkans, popular in Turkey and it's popular throughout Arabic speaking countries. Now what's the difference? What is Turkish coffee? Turkish coffee does not refer to coffee that comes from Turkey because Turkey to the best of my knowledge doesn't really produce much coffee. It's a, rather a style of coffee and the unique feature of Turkish coffee is that it's the finest form of coffee that there is basically. If you look at now I'm showing off my coffee geekery here uh, Turkish coffee, I believe, is defined as less than a particle size of less than 150 microns, might be 100 microns. For comparison, espresso is about 300, so it's actually the finest grind of coffee. It's finer ground than espresso, and espresso is the finest grind most Western consumers drink. Mmm, that is fantastic. Now, how do you how do you brew Turkish coffee correctly? Firstly, you need to grind it to true Turkish grind levels. Now, this is actually an interesting fact. Please bear with me if you're interested in Turkish coffee. It's one of the few things that's surprising to actually get Turkish coffee properly ground. It's actually easier to use a manual grinder uh, than a than a electric grinder. The reason for this is that commercial burr grinders to get a grinder that's rated to go down as far as coffee, the finer the grind, the more horsepower you need and the more heat's produced and the better machine you need. So you'll find uh, machines made by a Swiss company called Didding that can really do all the way to true Turkish, but there's a lot of um, fake Turkish on the market, by which I mean coffee that's only ground to an espresso level of finest. I see these guys photobombing me because I've got the uh, I've got the visor. And um, the other thing I would say about true Turkish coffee, and that's uh, Arabic Turkish coffee, uh, Iziman and, and Sanduka, is that uh, it's also very popular to add cardamom. And cardamom really has to be ground to that level of finest. In other words, to the same level as the Turkish coffee itself in order to work. And I've tried all the Israeli brands of Turkish coffee. I've tried Elite. Uh, I've tried all of them and they're all terrible in my opinion. They don't grind the Turkish coffee find, uh, finely enough. Years ago, as in like about six years ago, I discovered this shop called Izzy Man and it's a Palestinian coffee shop just inside the Muslim, Muslim Quarter. They're also on uh, Salat Adin Street and then there's Sanduka as well. And these guys knock the Israeli brands flat out of the water in terms of the Turkish coffee. They really grind it finely enough. They really get the cardamom ground finely enough and it's just a completely different product. So I was very excited and also slightly disappointed. I must admit when I saw that the uh, Izzy Mans had opened the first station because when you have your own little thing, I guess you don't want other people to discover it. But um, I, I, more seriously, 
I'm happy that they're there. Turkish coffee tends to be served in either these small little demi demitasse cups. And by the way, I have a rather elaborate collection of Turkish coffee cups at home that I've built up over the years. Uh, and you can get these machines that are made by a Turkish company called Arzum. I highly recommend them. They're automatic, they brew it automatically. Not the same things as those little electric finjans you'll get in Israel. So Turkish coffee is amazing. Uh, do I now the big question, do I prefer Iziman's or Sanduka Turkish coffee? Honestly, I don't really have strong feelings. I guess I prefer Iziman slightly. You can buy it if you're in the old city of Jerusalem, go inside Damascus Gate, where that road turns into two, take the right uh, of those turns and Izzy Man's is just there on the right. Also on Salah Adin Street, you'll find also Sanduka in the old city. They will sell you it by the kilogram. Ask for a uh, cafe mahil, uh, ask for coffee uh, with hell and you'll get your coffee with cardamom. And uh, this is it guys, so yeah, Turkish coffee. You now don't even have to travel to the old city if you wanna get in Jerusalem and Izzy Man's is right here.